Hey girls. Okay. Um, so I wanted to make a really quick video for you ladies who are just getting started. Um, I've had a lot of girls get going and I feel like you hit that submit button and it's like, oh crap, what do I do now? <laughs> so, um, we have the units tab that you can work through, but I know it can get super, super overwhelming. So I wanted to just get on here really quick and give you guys some pointers and tips to get started to where it doesn't just overwhelm you because this business is so, so easy. Um, the last thing I want it to do is to overwhelm you. So first things first, you've hit submit, you are a business owner now, and you have your nail business. So what do you do? The first thing I did was start my VIP group. That was the best thing that I could have done because if I had waited on my kit, it wouldn't have built up that anticipation of getting it and people wondering what it's all about and seeing it. So I started my VIP group. I started posting, you know, things here and there. I let people know like, okay, hey, I've got this business that I've started and this is why. Um, I told people, you know, I had my nails done. I just bought from a friend and I ended up loving them. I become just obsessed with it. So I decided to turn it into a business and just have some fun with it. And I put that post out there to let my friends and family, first and foremost, know why the heck I was starting this business, why I had this VIP group up and what it was about. So I did that and I started just posting different nail fees and, um, I had a girlfriend of mine um, that sponsored me. She was posting stuff on there for me um, and just kind of helping me get launched and started. And then I let people know, and you know, over that five day time period, I put my website out there. I let people know, um, you know, that they could go ahead and order if they wanted to. Um, I let people know that I would get samples to them as soon as I got my kit in. And as soon as I got my kit in, I went live. And I know a lot of you um, are going, oh gosh, please, you know, I don't want to do live. And you don't have to, that's the beauty of this business. You can run it how you want, but I highly recommend it because um, Facebook just tends to show the live videos better than they do just random posts on groups and stuff. So live videos do make a difference. Um, but I did go live and I showed people what was in my kit. I opened my kit up in front of everybody. I showed them what I had. I let them know that you know they could buy some sets if they wanted to. I let them know that I could send some samples and um, I got that going. And that kind of kick-started my business. That was the first thing that I did. And I that's the first thing I would do if I were you. Um, next thing that I want you to do. Um, so you've got your page. Go into your virtual office. So to go to your virtual office, it's vo.colorstreet.com. And that's going to get you into what we call our virtual office. So you'll see that a lot. Your VO is your virtual office. And once you log in there, um, and pointer here, a lot of people try to use their email for their ID. Don't use your email, it's your actual ID. So whatever you put in when you enrolled, what you wanted your ID to be, or the end of your website, um, that is what you're gonna use to log in. So you log in there, make sure you have your picture put up um, because people wanna know that they're in the right place and if they see your picture, that you know confirms that that's you that they're buying from. So you wanna get your picture up. Um, you just go under menu on the top right. Yeah, <laughs> on the top right, you go to menu, you go down to account, um, profile, and the picture where you change it is gonna be there. So you'll want to upload your picture. And then the next thing I would do is start my own party. The reason you need to start your own party is because Color Street gives us the advantage of being able to host our own parties. So these host rewards that other people can get, we actually can get them ourselves as well. So you start a party for yourself and then you start racking up rewards as people buy from you and that gets you free sets. You can sell these sets 100% um, profit because you're getting them free once it builds up. Um, you can sell them, you can use them for um, like giveaways and things like that when you wanna boost your page and get some stuff going, you can use it for stuff like that. Um, so you wanna set your party up. The way you set your party up, you're gonna go in menu in your virtual office, you go down to parties, create new party, and there you're gonna create your party. Um, it'll walk you through what to do. You're just gonna do a virtual party and then create. Once you create it, it'll give you a link that you can copy. That's gonna be your party link. You're gonna use that link and send that to everybody. 
you're going to want people to buy from that link because that's where it's going to rack up your rewards. Um, you can keep that open for 60 days and then you need to close that out or you'll lose your rewards within that 60 day time period. Um, I, there's like a whole list um, of what you can get rewards wise. So like at 150, you get 15% and I believe it's one set half off. I'm not sure, you'll have to look and see. Um, then after that, it goes up, it goes up to 20 and then to 25% of your sales. So for example, if you sold over a month's time, a thousand in nails, you get 25% of your sales. So that's $250 in free nails that you're gonna get just from your party. Then you also get, um, I believe it's nine sets half off. So you can basically just put stuff in your cart until you start seeing a number. I always do it and keep it at zero. You don't have to do the half off on sets, but they will add that up for you. Um, and you can use that half off until it starts building up a total. Um, and it's up to you how you want to do that. But you can get a ridiculous amount of nails um, at that at that um, range or whatever, at the $1,000 level, which is very, very achievable in the first 30 days. So that's one thing that you wanna do. You wanna get that party link set up. One thing I wanna tell you guys about the parties, because it can get a little confusing, but that's the link you're gonna wanna share with people to shop for you um, on your site under your name. Um, and like I said, just to build up those rewards. When you close that party out, so to close that party out, you're gonna go in to that open party. You are gonna hit um, create host reward and that's where you're gonna create your um, order and it closes it out. Once that link closes out, you're gonna wanna start a whole nother party the next month or the next couple of months whenever you decide to close it out because you're gonna wanna start racking up more rewards. And um, so you're gonna wanna share the new party link with your people on your VIP page, um, in your parties, however you're doing that. Um, you're gonna to wanna to share that party link for people to buy from. When you do parties online or in person, that's the same thing you're gonna to do to set up parties. And you guys are definitely gonna to wanna to do, sorry, that was a mouthful. You're going to want to do as many parties as you possibly can because that is truly the bread and butter to this business. Um, I am a firm believer in parties. If I wasn't doing parties, my business would have flopped a very long time ago. Um, Right now, everybody that I'm doing parties with, I don't know. I've never met them. I basically started with family. And then I sent samples out to the people from that party that I, you know, I, I basically told my cousin, hey, you're gonna do a party for me whether you like it or not. And she did it. And then um, everybody who asked for a sample in her party, I asked to do a party for me. And a lot of people said no, a few people said yes. So the ones who said yes, I started doing a party for them and it just kept going and kept going and kept going. Now I'm doing parties for people that I don't even know, I've never met, and um, I mean, yeah, that's how I keep my business alive. Otherwise, all you have is your VIP page and it can go dead really quick if you're not you know, meeting new people and doing parties and things like that. So that is the same way you're gonna do your party on, um, sorry, that, I just got sidetracked. <laughs> that's the same way you're gonna create a party for someone else the same way you do your own party. So if somebody says they want to host for you, you're gonna go in and create a new party for them and you're gonna put their information in. The great thing about this is um, all of the orders ship directly to the people who are ordering. Color Street keeps up with it for you. You don't have to keep up with any orders or anything like that. No inventory, no orders, nothing. They order, you share their party link, whoever's hosting when you do a party for someone else. You share that link and when they when they order, like I said, Color Street keeps up with it, it racks up their rewards, and then when they're ready to close their party out, you're gonna hit um, pending, po I can't talk. Um, you're gonna hit pending, po good grief, <laughs> sorry y'all. Pending host order, there, I said it, okay. Pending host order, and that is gonna send them an email to prompt them to get their order going and they order themselves and you don't mess with it from there. And then it closes that party out and you're done with that. Um, every party I do, I keep up with who orders, I keep up who asks for samples. Um, on the sample post, you wanna tag all the members cause that kind of wakes everybody up and makes them look at that post. And that is a big part of keeping that party kind of awake and alive and people, you know, 
you want as many people to try as possible because once they try it, they're going to love it. So you want to send out as many samples as you can. So tag the members in that sample post and, you know, see if they want them and, and definitely just get it out to as many people as possible. Um, that's just kind of a quick rundown on what to do. Day one, that's what I would do. I would get my own party started, your VIP group. I would get that link out there and I would get people to, to start looking and shopping and I would start posting nailfies and things like that. So that's the first step in the business. Create your party, get your VIP group, put your picture on your page because they wanna see your face. Um, your VIP group, make it a reality show of yourself. Don't just post Color Street all the time because I promise that'll you'll lose people that way because they don't wanna be sold to all the time. So keep content on there that would be interesting for them and not, um, they just don't wanna be sold to constantly. And then you just kind of sprinkle Color Street in on your page and it just keeps it more fun and more interesting. So that is my advice for just first getting started out. Um, I hope that helps. And yeah, um, I'm gonna create another video for you guys on kind of a step two on what to do. Um, I hope I haven't confused you. If I have anyone who is watching this, feel free to reach out to me and I will be happy to walk you through um, my rambling on <laughs> what to do exactly, um, if that made no sense to you, but I hope it helps. All right, um, on to video two. If, if you have any questions, just let me know.